Hey Chickies! So today I'm going to be doing an ex Chicky for you all because if you guys haven't already noticed, I mean the entire world noticed, but it's 2017. Finally we made it out of 2016, we're in 2017, I figured a good way to kick off the new year and you know, new things with my channel and everything this year is to start the year off by doing an ex Chicky. So of course I went on Twitter, I told you guys to tweet me questions using hashtag ex Chicky and I collected some questions that I'm going to answer today. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you do, give it a big thumbs up, stay subscribed to my channel, and follow me on my social media if you're not already. It's Beauty Chicky on Twitter, Instagram, you know, and Snapchat. Make sure to go follow me on all of those. I don't want to blabber on too much, though. I want to hop right into this next Chicky, so without further ado, let's get started. Alright, guys, so let's start off this video with the first question, and the first question is on a scale of 1 to 10, how big of a butt do you think you have? Now, obviously, I'm not the most bootylicious of girls. I don't have big butter boobs. I mean, my boobs are literally a 32A. My butt, though, is pretty pretty nice. It's not like big or anything, but it's like cute and perky and it jiggles and I like that. So on a scale of 1 to 10, I will give my butt like a 7. I think it's pretty good. It's not like huge, but it is perky and it looks nice and yeah. The next question is, this is an important question. How are you feeling and how is your night or day going? And I find this so nice because it's just so nice sometimes and somebody's like, you know what? I hope you're having a great day. I want to know how your day is going. How is your night going? How are you feeling lately? It's just such a nice thing. So to answer this girl, how am I feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, the new year, new year, new me. Huh. Just kidding. I'm the same person, but I do want to work on improving myself this year. So that's a good thing. I'm feeling pretty good about that. And as for how's my night or day going? Going. Currently it is 7 so it is nighttime and it's going pretty good. I'm here, I'm filming this video and I'm feeling good about it. Although I start school again tomorrow which I am not looking forward to but whatever. So the next question is what is the biggest argument you ever gotten into with your boyfriend? And me and my boyfriend don't really argue that much. We're pretty good at communicating and talking things out so we never really have any arguments. Although one argument we did have once was actually we were in New York City and we we're walking around in Central Park and he was so dedicated to finding this one spot in Central Park and we were walking for like 20 minutes and my feet were killing me because of the shoes I was wearing and I was getting so grumpy and he literally would not let me take a breather and I was like Corbin there are so many nice places about him we just sit down he was so dedicated to find this one place and I got kind of pissed at him and I was like oh my god is he serious right now and then eventually we found a nice place and sat down he apologized he's like I'm sorry he's like I just really want to find this one place and it's like Corbin we were looking for for like the past 30 minutes like <sighs> but that's really the only like argument we got into and it wasn't even like an argument like we weren't yelling at each other we weren't like I don't know well I was kind of mad at him he wasn't mad at me but I was kind of mad at him <laughs> I was more just grumpy because my feet hurt that was more of what it was but in the end he apologized and I was like it's okay don't worry about it it wasn't like a big thing but other than that we never got into like a fight or like a real argument or anything so we're pretty good on that the next question is actually a little plug that I'm gonna throw on here and it says what's the worst date you've ever been on with Corbin and the worst date I've ever been on was when we went to Manassas Battlefield and I made an entire story time about why that date was so crappy so if you guys want to see it link will be below you can click right here too and check it out and yeah it was such a crappy date um you guys should definitely go watch it. the video is very funny and explains everything about it so yeah the next question is what are you most excited for in 2017 and do you have anything super fun planned and to simply answer this question I'm excited for a lot of things in 2017 um I turn 18 I graduate high school I moved to New York City I start attending college um you know I'm very excited for everything that 2017 is bringing me and yeah I don't have anything like special specifically besides those so yeah tying into that other question the next question is are you more nervous or excited to be on your own and moving out and I am more excited I'm not very nervous to be on my own um, I mean I'm gonna be living with a couple of my friends I'm gonna have roommates but I am very excited to be moving out and you know be in a totally different atmosphere New York City has been like my place to be ever since I was younger it's just definitely my atmosphere the place I need to be the place I want to be so I am very very excited to be moving out um and yeah yeah. <laughs> the next question is when is your new merchandise coming out and I actually spoke about this on you now I don't know if I spoke about it on my channel yet, but I do have more merch coming out in 2017 I'm very excited for it. I'm still working on designs and logos and all that stuff right now But once I have those figured out and I put them on the shirts you guys will be informed right away And the last question is have you had any weird or stalker fan experiences? And when I saw this question the first thing that came to my mind is this one time with this fan and I was like Oh my god, I gotta share this so basically Quick little story time. I was in my mall shopping around like by myself for like literally like 
three or four hours straight. And literally since I got there at Asin Forever 21, there was this girl that was following me. Like this little girl, she had like red hair, and she literally was following me all around first one. And I figured she was a fan, but I was like, I don't I don't really know if she's a chickie. I don't know if she's not and stuff like that. But she was literally like following me around. It was getting kind of creepy, and I was like, alright, this is weird, and everything like that. So yeah. So I ended up leaving Forever 21 after that and everything, and I shopped around, but every single store I went to, like Sephora, um, American Eagle, Pax, and every store I went to, she came in and followed me. And no joke, this went on for like three or four hours straight while I was at the mall. Like she literally followed me to every single store I went in. And I was like, oh my God, this is getting kind of creepy. Like, I don't know if like she's a really nervous chicky or if she's just kind of stalking me or I don't know why this little girl is following me, but it was the creepiest thing in my entire life. And then finally, I'm about to like walk out of the mall and she finally comes up to me and asks me for a picture. And I was like, oh my God, okay, it was a fan. And she took a picture of me and I was like, I even like confronted her. I was like I saw you like in every single store like were you following me around or something and she said yeah that she was like nervous to come and take a picture of me I was like you don't need to be nervous but you also don't need to stalk me for like four hours so yeah I'm very nice when it comes to meeting fans I love meeting you guys you guys really should never be shy to come up to me in public I'm very friendly I'll take a million pictures of you I don't care if you ask me to lick your toe I'll do it well maybe not lick a toe but Anyways, whatever. But yeah, you guys should never be shy to take pictures of me. If you see me in public, come right up to me, ask me for a picture, say hi to me or whatever. You know, um, I was happy that the girl eventually came up to me and asked me for a picture and made me feel good and everything. But I told her, I was like, you know, it was like unnecessary for you to follow me around like four hours. I wasn't being like rude or anything, but I was like, you know, if you wanted a picture of me, if you wanted to come say hi to me, I'm not, I'm not going to bite. <laughs> I'm nice. You could have just came up to me and asked me for a picture. And that was the end of that. But for the beginning, before she came up to take a picture with me, it was the creepiest thing ever. So yeah. And that is the end of this axe chicky. This axe chicky went by extremely fast. I don't know why my axe chicky is normally much longer than Anyways, that is it for this video and if you guys enjoyed, give it a big thumbs up and stay subscribed to my channel. I upload every Tuesday and Friday at 6 p.m. East. I almost said 9 a.m. for some reason and 9 a.m. was my old uploading time. That is weird. I upload at 6 p.m. guys. If you guys want to check out my merchandise line, hashtag chicky merch, make sure to click the annotation on the screen or you go to the link below. If you guys want to check out my latest video, which was my boyfriend doing my voiceover, super funny video, I suggest you go, I suggest you go check it out. I just butchered my words my bad but I suggest you go check it out it is right next to me I don't know why I always do next to me in my videos it's just like it's kind of like a thing whatever and lastly if you guys want to check out my social media my username is beauty chicken on twitter instagram you know and snapchat on twitter I tweet 24 7 if any of you guys follow me on twitter you know that I do not shut up on twitter on instagram always posting things always updating you guys on instagram on you now I do daily broadcast most of the time I try to go live at least like an hour a day some days I miss it but whatever and then snapchat you guys should follow me on snapchat I am always snapchatting I post the dumbest things on my snapchat but it's is extremely entertaining. Go follow me on it. Like I said, username is Beauty Chicky on everything. And with that said, I'm going to go Chickies. Hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah. So I'll see you guys in my next video. So that being said, ciao, ciao, Chickies.